Hi everyone, Pamper Chef Tammy here, popping on to highlight some more of our new products that were just released for our fall winter season. Pamper Chef completely outdid themselves this year with their largest product launch in their history with over 30 new products for the fall winter season. So I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna highlight those in our baking section. So these are all again, these are all brand new that were just released. So the first item I wanna show you is our new mixing bowl. How beautiful is this? It's got a really nice silicone uh, ring at the bottom so it grips on your counter and doesn't slide around. Um, if you use a hand mixer, you're really not supposed to use a glass bowl um, because it could, it, 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 you could um, crack it. So um, they really recommend a plastic bowl. So um, Pamper Chef has come out with this and this, is, this goes really well with our new Flex Plus. Um, so anyway, this is our new mixing bowl. Okay, so we have our mixing bowl and maybe we're going to make a cheesecake. Um, well, look at this beauty. This is our new nine inch spring form pan. You can make cheesecake, ice cream cake, layered pasta. Um, it's a non-stick finish, so it comes out really nice. This is just beautiful. So again, this is our nine inch spring form pan, okay? Um, okay, so we're not gonna make a cheesecake. Uh, maybe you wanna make muffins. Well, look at this beauty. This is our large muffin tin. Fits one and a quarter cup. Um, and again, this is our large muffin tin. Great for muffins, quiches, omelets, um, uh, breakfast burritos. I mean, this has got some multi-use. I had a customer that sent me a picture of um, little cakes that she made in each one of these. And when it was her daughter's birthday, she made one special for her daughter and the children that attended each had their own personal little smash cake. So that was kind of cool. So, but that is our large muffin tin. So then we have our bench scraper and our bowl scraper. I'm in love with this. I've been making cinnamon rolls and I've been doing a lot of sourdough bread and with the sourdough bread, you know, you shape your loaf and you use a bench scraper. Also with the cinnamon rolls, when I cut them, I love the fact that it's got the, um, the ruler on, on here. So that really is helpful. Um, but the, and then the bowl scraper has a pointed corner and a rounded. So when you are scraping out the bowl, the curbside fits really nice in, but one big swoop and you almost have the entire bowl. And of course you can go across the bottom, but I love this. This is really great. But this comes as a set. So bench scraper and bowl scraper. Okay, so now this is exciting. I'm really excited about this. This is our pocket pie maker. So you can make pocket pies. Um, you can make them half where you fold them over or a full um, hand pocket. It's very nice and compact so it all fits together and um, can go right in a drawer or a cabinet. Um, but it's got a measuring spoon so no need to second guess how much filling you're putting in now. So if you're making a um, if you're making mini pies, little hand pies, um, roll out the dough, or if you're buying um, pre-made dough, this is going to cut out your shape. So you're going to cut it out, no more second guessing about how big or small you have to make it. This will cut this out. Um, then you can um, take our nice little, um, see the edges here? So then you would cut out two rings um, put one down and put the other one on and then you're going to put this right in here and push it down and it's going to crimp those together. How cool is that? Uh, or, um, well, and I forgot, so you would measure two tablespoons for a one full circle. So if you're taking two pieces of dough this size, putting it on top of each other, crimping them together, it would be two tablespoons or two scoops of your filling in there. If you're doing... Um, a half of one, one that you're flipping over, um, you're going to cut your dough in your circle, lay it over the top, you're going to do one scoop of your filling and then pop it over and it crimps it. And I'm really excited about this because we make date filled cookies for Christmas. My stepdad loves them, they're just one of his favorite cookies and we all, you know, crimp it with the fork. So now we can cut the dough out, put our date filling in, 
and it's done. So how cool is that? I really like that. That's our hand pocket maker. All right, so then we've got our new mixes. So we've got a caramel latte bread. I have made this one and it's to die for. It's really good. I added a cup of mini chocolate chips to it, um, but there's all kinds of variations. Um, but it's uh, half a cup of vegetable oil, half a cup of water, two eggs, and the mix. So really easy. You can make this in the mini brown, mini brown, mini brownie pan with the little squares um, or the big squares. You, I made it in my breadstone. Um, all kinds of different variations for that. Um, our Italian herb bread mix. Um, this just has one cup of water in the mix. Um, so that's really delicious as well. Um, our brownie mix is new, and that is a brownie mix, a half a cup of melted butter or vegan butter, two eggs or vegan equivalent. So um, this is our brownie mix. The only one I don't have is the chocolate chip one. Um, I have a gluten-free friend, and um, she had been talking about um, not having many options for chocolate chip cookies. So I surprised her with that bag. So I gave that away. So, um, but we have chocolate chip cookie dough as well as one of our new mixes. So that is in our baking corner for today. And I just wanted to highlight those. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, otherwise, happy baking, everybody.